Hi, I'm Daniel J. Lewis from the AudacityPodcast.com. At the time of this video recording, Waves.com has their WLM Plus loudness meter on a big sale, bringing it down to only $29. That price might be different by the time you're watching this video, but that's why you should go over to podcastingdeals.com and sign up for that email newsletter over there because that's where I or others will notify you when there's a really good deal on something relevant to podcasting. Like in this case, this audio plugin, or it might be something like gear or software or tools, resources, all kinds of stuff like that. That's over at podcastingdeals.com. But this plugin, I wanted to give you just a demonstration of it because it's only $29 and it can save a lot of time if you're concerned, which I think you should be, about making your podcast audio reach those podcast loudness standards we have of negative 19 luffs for mono or negative 16 luffs for stereo. Especially if you use apps like Audacity and GarageBand, which don't have loudness normalization built into them at all, you have to use other tools. So the real workflow might be something like you make your edits inside of Audacity, then you export as a wave, you measure it with some other tool, you see what kind of adjustments you need to make, you go back to Audacity, make those volume adjustments, then you export another wave, you go back to your measurement tool, remeasure, and adjust accordingly. It's a lot of steps and you end up with a lot of extra files too, it, and it can be just a pain. This plugin does work inside of Audacity and GarageBand as well as the higher end tools that you can use. And uh, you can see in here, they say Pro Tools, Logic Pro, Digital Performer, Albatron Live, uh, Nuendo, all of these different tools that can be used, including video tools like Premiere Pro and some of these other things. And they don't mention Audacity on here, but yes, it does work in Audacity. And in fact, that's what I'm going to use to demonstrate this plugin to you. I'm not going to give you a full tutorial. This is only a demonstration. And there might be a little confusions and mess ups along the way, and that's okay, because I just want to demonstrate for you what this does. So the plugin, once it's installed, activated, added to your audio software, comes in several different flavors here. The first two basic differences are there's the meter, which only measures your audio loudness levels. And there's the plus, which measures and normalizes your audio. Then for each of those, there are separate additions based on how many channels of audio that you're working with. Five for five channels, six for 5.1, surround sound with the subwoofer, M for mono, S for stereo. So since I'm working with mono audio here, I'm going to go to the M version. Inside of here, it shows the short-term loudness, long-term, click the reset button, and click apply and it will measure the audio for you and measure it rather quickly. This is a five minute audio piece and it just measured that in a few seconds and it gave me these numbers. Or you could even press play down here and listen in real time and see your numbers in real time exactly as you're going along. Or you can select a portion of audio to measure only that section, click apply and it measure, measures only that section that you've selected. I want to work with my entire track here, so I measure the entire thing, and I see my long-term loudness, my loudness range, my true peak, and all of that information. This is great. This is simply measuring the audio. I could, right here, this is great, because I could take this information and then make my adjustments inside of Audacity or GarageBand or whatever app I'm working with. But it gets easier than that, because they include the plus version, which does do the loudness normalization for you. So again, I'm going to M since this is for the, uh, the version uh, or for mono audio. I'm just changing my numbers back here to zero, uh, making this as if I just opened this plugin. So click apply, it will measure the audio. And it shows me 31.4, negative 31.4 luffs, loudness range three, True peak. It shows me all of that same information. What's different about this plus version is in here. And again, this plus and the regular meter are included in that $29 purchase. It's not like an upgrade or anything like that, but there's this section right here. This is the section that actually changes my audio. The first thing that we want to do is click that reset button before you measure, then go to the target section and enter 
what you want that target number to be. Since we're working with mono audio, it would be negative 19. If you're working with stereo and using the S version of this, then it'd be negative 16. You can also change that true peak max, but negative two is a, a good number. You could make it negative 1.5, negative one, don't go any higher than negative one, but negative two is a good standard anyway, and you can leave that as it is. But you wanna set that target, click apply, and it will look through, measure the audio, which I've already done here. And now to make it change the audio, this trim button shows us the difference between the long-term measured loudness and our target. So you could drag this slider to adjust the amount of gain to increase or decrease, or simply click that trim button and it jumps to where it needs to go. But in this case, I actually want to try and match it specifically. So instead of it being 12, I'll make it 12.4. So I'll just drag that slider a little bit over. Click on the True Peak limiter to turn that on. And there are different methods here and different uh, presets and standards that can follow as well. So now when I click Apply, because this gain slider is adjusted and the True Peak limiter is turned on, it will adjust my audio this time. And now it's adjusted. Now I can see that the end result specifically is negative 20.7 or basically negative 21. That's not quite where I want it to be. So I can drag this number down. I know that I want it to be 1.7. So I'll drag that number down to 1.7. Right now the plugin is a little weird that if I click that trim, it adds that to whatever the gain slider is already on which is a little weird. Maybe they'll fix that with a future version, but so I'll drag that to negative 1.7, apply it again. And now I'm hitting that target of negative 19. Yeah, it's a little bit of variation in there, but that's okay. And you can tweak this however you want, run it as many times as you want to make the adjustments and be as anal about it as you want. But the result is that I got audio at my target loudness level. And this is all within Audacity, GarageBand, whatever tool that you're working with to edit your audio that supports plugins like VST plugins or Audio Units plugins on Mac OS. This is something that you can do right inside of there and do it very quickly, do it to individual clips, super simplifies your workflow. And at the time of this video, it's only $29. I think this is definitely worth the money because this will save you time. This will help you make your podcast audio reach those target loudness levels of negative 16 luffs for stereo or negative 19 luffs for mono. And the plugin can do a lot more too. And I recommend that you familiarize yourself with the plugin, read the documentation. You can watch the videos on the site as well. I've got the link if you want to purchase this plugin from waves.com and get an additional 10% off. Use the link below this video, or maybe you've received this video from a podcasting deals newsletter. Just use the link in that email so you can find WLM plus loudness meter and purchase that yourself and use it inside of your audio editing workflow or workstation in order to get better results for your podcast audio. I'm Daniel J. Lewis from the audacity to podcast.com. Thanks for watching.